Good morning. This is Pastor Roy Olson speaking to you on this brisk Romanian morning from the Apavia Conference and Camping Center. Uh, I'm speaking to you from in front of our wood pile so you see by what we heat Apavia by uh, a wood burning furnace, hot water system, pump circulates it through the radiators inside the house. And um, we've been here for 10 years now, and uh, 10 wonderful, beautiful years. Each year has been different, each year has been blessed, and we are very grateful. Uh, we started with a dream, and the dream is to train. Uh, Romanian leaders, pastors, to become more effective. More effective in what? Number one, evangelism. Number two, leadership. Number three, worship. Number one, personal evangelism. A lot of the evangelism they have in Romania is basically come to church and by a process of osmosis, Somehow they become inculcated with uh, Christian truth and receive Jesus Christ. And it works. But um, Romanian uh, born-again evangelical Christians remain between 4 and 5 percent of the entire population and have been so uh, for the last 15 years or so. There is no real effective um, evangelism that is making an impact. Uh, local churches, yes. Generally speaking, on nationwide, no. So we're teaching personal evangelism. That is how, outside of the church, in the workplace, uh, in the marketplace of life, in the school, to have somebody uh, inquire as to how they may receive Jesus Christ as their personal Lord or Savior and have the equipment, the knowledge, the scripture verses whereby they can show, indicate to a person what it means to receive Jesus Christ, what it means to be a Christian, and then lead him in a prayer of commitment. Number one, evangelism. Number two, leadership. Uh, leadership skills are important. Praying is great, foundational. Uh, preaching skills also very important. But in order to grow the church of Jesus Christ, leadership skills are absolutely essential. In fact, in terms of growing the church, sometimes it is the first uh, requirement. Not that the others are less important, but in terms of actually growing the church. Uh, let me rephrase that. A man who prays well preaches well, has a good relationship with our Heavenly Father, is a great godly man, but he may not be a leader. If you have those qualities plus leadership skills, uh, you can affect more people and grow the kingdom of God more effectively. And so we teach leadership skills. There are five levels of leadership. Uh, generally thought of in terms of uh, you have authority kind of leadership, you have friendship kind of leadership, you have your historical kind of leadership. In other words, you've done some things in the past and people will follow you because of that. And then you have another level of leadership called empowering leadership, where you help others to develop and grow and be all that they can be. And you focus your attention not on you growing, uh, but on they, them growing. And uh, so uh, leadership skills of that nature, and of course the fifth uh, leadership level is uh, something that you, that you, you earn by a lifetime of good work. We um, use examples like Bill Bright and Billy Graham and some men of that stature, we would call them Christian statesmen. The last and third is worship. Worship is more than singing a song from an overhead 
projector or a projector or a songbook. A worship is, is uh, something else. And so we endeavor to teach those three areas we are focused. And uh, we have had some limited success, but compared to the need, it's less than a drop in the bucket. So we thank God, but our vision is for the world. And we begin here in our local area, and uh, we extend to the entire nation of Romania, and God willing, we have been and will continue to go into other nations within Europe. We need your help, and we trust God to touch your heart. Uh, we go back to the United States shortly, uh, over $5,000 in debt. Uh, what does that mean? That means that we had to borrow money in order to do the conferences and so on that we have done. We foot the bill to feed the 30, 40, 50 people for a day or three days. And um, uh, we didn't want to limit the ministry, and so we stepped out in faith and uh, borrowed some from family and friends. And But we need your help. A businessman, a businesswoman, someone with resources that God will touch your heart. You don't pay for the overhead. My, my uh, generous U.S. Social Security check uh, covers the basic needs of the ministry. But in order to do the work of the ministry, um, in terms of travel and conferences and so on, we need your help. At the end of this video, we'll provide you with information. I pray that God touch your heart and you generously give us a one-time support or put us on your monthly schedule. And we'd be very grateful, of course. And um, the reward comes not just from us, but within you knowing you're doing the will of God and from God himself. Because when you give, you become part of this ministry. Thank you. God bless you. My name is Roy. Until next time, goodbye.